Hello and uh, welcome to my lab. I have a special demonstration here today I'd like to show you and uh, consists of this candle. And after much, uh, much research on the net I was able to discover that uh, a flame about this size is uh, about 80 watts of power it would use to burn it at this size. And so uh, by comparison I would say this one here is probably around 40 or 50 watts is the energy that's being used up uh, to burn a flame this size. Now you have to remember that uh, you're probably thinking uh, 40 or 50 watts, uh, it's not very bright, a light bulb is brighter than that and uh, you'd be right in thinking that a light bulb, a 50 watt light bulb is much brighter. A uh, candle is not very efficient at uh, putting out light. What it does is put out heat instead of light so most of uh, the energy here is lost in the form of heat as opposed to being put out in the, in the form of light. Uh, now we spoke about a solar panel, uh, 2 feet by uh, 5 feet solar panel, so a 10 square foot solar panel we discussed uh, earlier would put out approximately uh, 50 watts on average during the course of a day. Hard to believe that uh, this candle is uh, producing or using up as much energy as what your solar panel, a 10, foot, uh, 10 square foot solar panel would put out in the space of a day. Um, it might not seem like much, uh, but in fact it's uh, energy from the sun that uh, if somebody were to give you on a daily basis for free, it'd be hard to turn down. It'd be a little bit like somebody coming to your door uh, every afternoon and giving you a few dollars. You uh, probably wouldn't turn them down. So although our conversion efficiency is rather small at this point with the technology we have, it's uh, still there and it's still available and it's free. Uh, thanks for listening to me and uh, we'll be talking to you later. Bye now.